One question I get over and over again is, do I need a website or a funnel? And there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what a funnel even is. And there's so much buzz in the online marketing world about funnels right now. And honestly, they do seem to be the sexier, newer option. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all the key differences between a sales funnel and a website. So you'll walk away with a really clear picture of what you need to build your business this year without any unnecessary and expensive software subscriptions. Now this is what I teach to my students in my paid program and it's why they're able to see a two to three times increase in the profits they bring in. So here we go. So sales funnels are such a big talked about topic and for good reason. You know, the way we think about selling online, whether that's products or services or consultations, you name it, everything is changing so fast. And we now know that just having that passive brochureware, um, informational only website is a huge missed opportunity for any business, including yours. So the questions we need to answer once and for all today are, what exactly is a sales funnel? And does it replace my need for a website? So first of all, let's just talk about what a sales funnel is. You know, I can definitely tell you that most people equate sales funnels or uh, confuse them with the software that people use to build them. In other words, you hear sales funnel, you think click funnels or lead pages. Now these are two really popular funnel builders with out of the box landing pages, sales pages and checkout pages. And the owner of click funnels, Russell Brunson has the motto, you're just one funnel away, meaning with the right funnel, you can do great things, sell more, grow as a business. But the thing is, a true sales funnel isn't just any one thing, and it's about a lot more than a series of templates that you just string together toward a sale. So a funnel does not really refer to software or landing page builders. A sales funnel is simply a path you take your prospects on from never having heard of you all the way through a warm-up process to a final sale or sometimes even follow-up sales and then years of repeat business. And this can be done through a series of any combination of content you create, ads, pages, and emails, all designed to move people through that journey. So the question becomes then, are these funnel builders the best way to create that journey for your customers? Well, I definitely think they have their place and lots of testing has actually proven that their landing pages do convert pretty highly. And if you sell something and need checkout pages, they do have some pretty good ones that are gonna work right out of the box without the need for you to, to do a lot of testing and having those headaches on your own website. But here's the thing, at the end of the day, using click funnels or lead pages or anything like that instead of your own website, is pretty much just taking the easy way rather than the right way. So what's wrong with that? I mean, if it saves you time, that's great, right? Well, here's what I'll say about that. So the bare minimum digital presence for any business right now is having a website. So if you don't even have that, you run the risk of looking fly by night to your customers and to Google as well. And you know, we know that Google likes to reward brands, right? You know, businesses who they see as being in it for the long haul, and if customers can only get to one single page that exists purely to funnel them right into a sale, when we now know that 80 to 90% of those people coming there aren't ready to pull the trigger yet, you know, that's just not ever gonna work very well, not in the long term anyway. That's why these kind of funnel landing pages tend to be really popular with supposed online gurus and people out there just trying to make a quick buck before they move on to their next idea. Um, not only that, but these funnel programs don't really account for the whole funnel anyway. You know, they don't address getting traffic to it in the first place, or the really important follow-up process that engages people after they've been to your page, but haven't converted yet. So we're pretty much just left talking about the landing page and checkout pages, and ClickFunnels starts at $97 per month for the most basic plan. But there are a lot of marketers out there who have some pretty harsh criticisms of websites, saying that their days are numbered. So they'll say things like websites are unfocused, that they don't lead people toward a sale, that they're just digital brochures. Well, yeah, they can be that. And to be fair, a lot of them actually are. But guess what else they can be? 
anything you want them to be, including a pretty killer piece of your overall sales funnel. And that's exactly what it should be. You know, the central hub of all your marketing efforts, meaning it needs to be a part of your bigger overall funnel. So here's my recommendation for not just quick, but long lasting success, right? You know, you want a thoughtfully structured website that gives out the right information in the right order without a ton of different pages, you know, just a handful of really important ones that are actually gonna help you funnel people closer to that conversion. Um, it should have a blog or a vlog or podcast section, you know, some type of content marketing piece that you can basically use as bait to attract your most ideal customers or clients to your site. Um, you can do that either organically or by using paid ads. And once they're there going through your helpful, actionable content, you'll have clear paths for two different types of customers, right? The ones who are ready to take action now, and for them, you'll just wanna make it crystal clear what you do, how that helps them, and what they need to do to get the ball rolling. We're talking a really clear call to action there. And the other path is for the customers who aren't ready yet, which is going to be the vast majority. And for them, you'll have some type of lead magnet or freebie that they would just basically opt in for using their email address. And from there, we need to think of the back end piece, AKA the follow up. So this is where email really comes into play. And you'll want to further your relationship with them by warming them up with more helpful content each and every week for as long as it takes them to decide. So ideally, you'll drive these people back to your website to check out a specific article or a video or a podcast episode. And this is where the real magic happens. You know, trust starts to build and then they just start moving further and further down your funnel. And you can even do this for people who actually didn't opt into your list if you retarget your website visitors with either Facebook or Instagram ads. And yes, after a few of these really helpful trust building content based emails, you can follow it up with a more direct sales email, letting them know that you can do even more to help them if they schedule a consultation, appointment, or if they buy whatever it is you're actually selling. You can even retarget them with Facebook or Instagram ads, which address a series of common objections they may have, or that feature customer testimonials. And I like this way better than doing it through click funnels or lead pages because those services don't address all these touch points anyway, and you can do all this on your own WordPress website that you own so you don't need to rent your funnel out. All right, so we know that these software programs to build your funnel charge monthly fees. So is doing this on your own website gonna be free? No, you still need to pay for hosting, which is actually pretty minimal. And you probably also wanna invest in either SEO or in paid ads that go to your website and your articles to really fill up the top of your funnel with leads. And you also need an email service provider like MailChimp, Drip, or ConvertKit. But most of those have a free or at least really cheap starter plan that's gonna work just fine until you get to a certain number of subscribers. So how do you get started building this amazing sales funnel for your business? Well, I created a brand new playlist of all my best videos that's gonna show you everything you need to know to do this. So it covers everything from what pages you need, expert copy tips, how to get the right images, uh, how to create the site in just hours yourself for free, and the perfect email follow-up campaign too. So just click right here to access the playlist and then the real fun can begin. So see you right there.